hi everyone welcome to my channel today I want to show you how to fight with millibugs almost in all my videos I talk about millibugs and today I decided to show you I found time to show you how I found the way how to kill millibugs without changing the medium or doing something special uh, as you all, some of you know already that millibugs they kill plants you don't be you don't need to be ignorant if you have only one millibug in your plant don't think that it's only one and you can kill with your with your hands or something with uh, isopropyl alcohol as I did with my orchids with my plants yes it works but it works for short time uh, probably you will not see one on or two weeks millibugs and after two weeks you will see even more uh, you will find more millibugs you think that they explored and on every single leaf after you spray isopropyl alcohol you see on the back of your of your plant here on the edges sitting here all white millibugs and it's even worse uh, and I treated my orchids with all kind of um, insecticides which I found from Lowe's from Menards from all kind of stores I uh, used dish uh, not dish soap I used soap for uh, treat insects I used other insecticides but none of them worked they work for a couple weeks and after a couple weeks you need to um, do something else again and it makes you tired and you think that you cannot you don't know how to grow plants and your plants they die every day and it makes you upset and that's why um, you need to do immediately something when you see even only one millibug millibugs they killed uh, almost um, one third of my plants not only orchids they killed my african violets and other plants uh, they sit um, they lay eggs even though you see only one millibug in your plant but that millibug already laid eggs in the plant which we don't see with our eyes we cannot see them but they are in the plant they lay eggs here in this kind of places inside the leaves and they're so tiny tiny we cannot see them when they are small and when they are big we can see like this see here millibug is sitting and they lay eggs this is see these are eggs and later they will crawl on the leaf and lay eggs and in short time you will see white stuff on your plants and they suck energy from your plant and especially when you have orchids um, they kill orchids they suck the juice the the everything the nutrition from the orchid from this place and even though you don't water your orchid from top you will see black rot from the crown uh, and you will get upset you you can you don't know how to save your plants that's why today I decided to find time I found time and I decided to show you I my husband will help me uh, to treat my plants he will explain you uh, have to prepare insecticide for orchids for plants for all kind of plants you can use I put my uh, uh, one sort of my plants outside and after I treat these orchids I will take out my other plants and I treat them also 
you need to do this at the same time with all of your plants and this insecticide it will kill uh, at once you don't need to repeat it um, you do this one time and you don't need to change medium or soil it will go inside the medium and soil and kill all the eggs and mealybugs if you have severe conditions with your plants if you have lots of mealybugs and you fight it with the mealybugs for years and years then you need to repeat this uh, procedure um, one or two more times and later you need to check if you see mealybugs again or uh, you don't see if you don't see any after a couple months you don't need to uh, repeat this procedure but if you see again some mealybugs you need to repeat this and after six months you can repeat but it's not necessary uh, because my husband will explain you what kind of insecticide is this because uh, this insecticide it kills eggs and everything when you have mealybugs you are plant cannot um, grow proper size even new leaves new leaves they cannot grow proper size uh, they stay small tiny and every time you see small shrinky plants like the here see these orchids they grow every time small small tiny leaves it's supposed to be bigger and bigger like this you know the the previous leaves they they are small and the new leaves they supposed to be bigger but i have mealybug problem that's why my orchids they are not growing proper size and they are small tiny and even they die sometimes because this uh that the plant it gets energy from the uh, these leaves they get energy uh, from the light and but when you have small leaves and that leaves they can die easily when you have strong plants it's okay but when you have this kind of sick, sick plants they die faster when you, they have mealybugs even though this plant is healthy see its leaves are small tiny look at this leaf how huge it is and look at these leaves they are tiny they are smaller size see and they are not growing because of mealybugs hi guys we will be using uh, two products by adama and one of them is bifen i slash t insecticide for prevention and control of termites ants and other pests of any kind and this one is Teco Pro Insect Growth Regulator Concentrate. This Teco Pro is also for pests like fleas, ticks, flies, mosquitoes, gnats, and many more. Uh, these products are commercial grade and used for areas such as homes, commercial, uh, and industrial buildings. We bought these products for pest control our house. Uh, they are very effective in especially areas like furniture and carpets, and animal quarters, uh, kennels, and many more. Now these are not sponsored by this company, these are bought by using our own money and you can buy it on Amazon and the link will be in the description below. Long story short, after long research on how to kill a pest and other bugs, we bought these to kill them all that were infesting our homes since we bought it. Because the product I used to buy from the stores were not as effective as this. Um, and some of them are expensive and I had to spend more money. The, these products are not very expensive nor cheap for both of these you will spend around ninety dollars my wife asked if we can use it on her orchids and other plants she has been fighting with them for years then i made another research on if these products are safe for plants since they are in intended for commercial use and as many people know that commercial products are stronger and effective than any other product you find on the shelves from the stores turns out you can even spray it on your lawn to kill pests and bugs if these products are safe for grass then they are safe for orchids and other plants but to make sure we tried on a couple orchids and other plants before using all our plants
plants and hoping if they will not die so with it it worked not only it killed the mealybugs and their eggs but also made the adult ones infertile they cannot make any babies you might see some of them crawling after using these products if your orchids and plants are severe as ours but they're not uh, active nor able to make any babies now if you have very light infestation then you should be able to get rid of them after first use now let's get started and let me show you how to use them now we use one or two ounces per gallon of these products I have uh, here about over a gallon of water uh, and we add Bifen and Teco Pro into it. Let's add and mix the product. To use these products is very simple. You just um, take it and squeeze this well, by opening this um, cap. As you see, it just goes up and fills up the this area right here. It's a one ounce, exactly. And also, before spraying anything, Use a protective uh, gear, uh, glasses, and, and uh, some gloves. And let's get started. Every time before you use, uh, you have to agitate it because these products will sink after not using for a couple of minutes. You just have to agitate it every time when you have to use it. So, like this, just shake it. Now you pump it up, and after pumping it up, you will just start spraying. Okay, when you're spraying, make sure the plant is very wet and covers every inch and area of the plant. You spray underneath, on the top. Make sure it covers all. And also please make sure you do it in the daylight when there's no rain. If you spray on the rain then it will wash everything up. So make sure it's a calm day and no rain. And you spray on the plants and leave it to dry. Now I am finishing my video. I hope you learned something from this video. If you like this video, please put thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe. We will discuss more problems with plants. See you next time. Bye.